Hi guys and welcome back to Lily White FC. Now I know it's been a while since I posted up a video but the other week I did go and play at an airsoft place called FRV Airsoft out near towards Ballon the Hinch in Northern Ireland and unfortunately when I actually had the GoPro on my helmet I took my helmet off halfway between um, the games there was like four games that we played and I took my helmet off halfway through and when I put my helmet on the floor I put my weapon, my, my muzzle of my weapon into my helmet to keep it out of the dirt um, but when I actually did that the pressure forced my GoPro to go off so unfortunately all the game footage that I actually thought I was recording and the second and third game was absolutely amazing the first one wasn't great um, but the second third game was absolutely amazing and unfortunately I have no footage of it so uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to learn by my mistake I didn't want to not post up a video and I've been racking my brains about what I can do now obviously I'm quite new to airsoft literally I only picked it up about four six weeks ago I picked it up now I did used to play airsoft a while ago uh, like when I was back living back in England but uh, you know I kind of let things go by the way by um, you know I started doing other sports and other things along those lines and airsoft kind of took a bit of a uh, back seat so I've kind of picked up back now and I've started to gather up some gear now a friend of mine a really good friend of mine uh, Robert uh, gave me this um, uh, vest and I've kind of already had a couple of things laying around which I've managed to attach onto it but the majority of the vest has actually come from uh, Robert so I wanted to show you what I'm going to be running uh, at my airsoft games I'm going to show you the vest now. I've um, I'm almost completed my um, my battle belt. I'm literally only a couple of items away from finishing it. You can actually see it here. Um, so as you can see here, I do have some items already on it, but it's a little bit off being finished yet. So I will actually get that finished, and then I'll do a review on that once I've got it finished. However, like I said, I have got a couple of items that I had laying around um, to add on to the vest. I'm just going to go over what I carry um, in like a, a day event this is not like CQB um, CQB I'll probably just run around uh, you know with a magazine in my pocket um, rather than carrying this vest around because it is a bit heavy uh, for CQB kind of stuff so this is more kind of outdoor environment so this is my vest and as you can see I'm running a single point sling on the front here um, it's got the uh, a, a quick release clip which goes on to my MP5, and uh, you know, rather than I'm clipping it here and leaving that attached to the MP5, I rather keep it all together um, and then just clip that straight onto the MP5, um, which obviously makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, on the front here, I've got a, a commander's pouch where I keep um, just uh, some little bits and bobs, like I've got a pen knife in here, just a little one. It's a little Leatherman CS. It's probably one of the best little kind of, you know, it weighs next to nothing, um, but it comes with useful little items. So it's got a pair of scissors, um, and also it comes with a little uh, knife, which is absolutely perfect for, you don't need anything longer than that, really, to be honest with you, because, you know, if you're gonna be cutting, if you're gonna be like using those big, massive, long knives, you don't really need that sort of stuff to like kill people or cut down trees. So, you know, you, if you just want to cut a little bit of tape and something on those lines, then you've got a little knife there. Um, and it's also got a nice little nail file there, just in case you get a little nail file. And that's, that's meant to be like a flathead screwdriver, but I wouldn't use that. I've actually got a little tool, co little tool kit in here, which I use. So that, that goes in there. Uh, I also keep in uh, this commander's pouch as well uh, my uh, spare um, pins for my uh, grenades for my for my thunder flash uh, for my thunder bees. Um, these are just where I keep my uh, spare pins, and they go in there. Um, in the front pouch here uh, of the, the ammunition pouches, I kind of have uh, just one. Um, uh, M4 magazine sitting in there. Now I don't actually have an M4 rifle at this moment in time. I'm hoping that I can save up for get one, maybe pick up a second hand one or something along those lines. Um, but this is uh, literally just in here, just because you know why have an empty pouch. However, I do currently have at this moment in time three high cap um, MP5 magazines uh, sitting in this pouch here. Uh, this is the, you know, this is my closest to my left hand here so uh, this is where I keep these magazines um, I, I start off by using this little magazine here uh, this is also well it's, it's a high cap 
but um, you know you don't fit that many rounds in it. This side is actually completely um, empty. There's nothing in this side, um, but this side is actually where it's filled up from. This is actually my best magazine. Actually, out of all these four magazines that I have, this one, even though this one is obviously you know made to look like it's got like real ammunition in there, as you can see there, it's got like a, a round there. Uh, this side actually is where all the BBs sit, and it, this actually feeds a lot better than what those three do. So this is the one that I always start off with, and. Uh, if I'm halfway through games and if I get the chance I will refill this one and use this one over those three um, but then again you never know how long a battle's going to be lasting I'm actually going to a Milsim event which is an all day event so uh, you know I'm more than likely going to be needing a couple of these magazines so but this is the one that I rock out first with on the, on the MP5 uh, on the front then continuing I've got a couple of like silooms here now um, you know a couple of um, you know, there's a couple of people commenting that, you know, why do I actually carry these? Now, and like I said, I don't actually use this vest for CQB, but in certain airsoft arenas, you actually have buildings that you actually go into part of a Milsim event. And I've learned a long time ago to actually have light silos to actually show which rooms are clear and which uh, are not clear it can be potentially helpful. Um, but also, it actually really is a really good distraction device. If you get a light silo in a dark room, crack it and then make it glow. If you chuck it on the other side of the room and somebody's in that room, what are they going to look at? They're not going to be looking at the person coming through the door. They're going to be looking where the light silo is going, thinking what the hell's going on. So you get that light silo, crack it, lob it at the other side of the room, knowing that they're that side. When they when they follow the light silo, that's when you just pop in and then just go bump and then get them. Job done. Uh, and also here you can see a carabiner. Uh, this carabiner, I literally hang my helmet and gloves off um, when I'm like, you know, when I'm not wearing them, uh, just to, uh, you know, just make it easier. Rather than carrying it in my hand, I can just clip my helmet onto there and also clip my uh, gloves onto it as well. And the last thing on the front of the vest really is uh, this patch, um, just a nice uh, tan Union flag. I like it. It's decent. Moving around to the side, nothing on the side here. I will eventually get a utility pouch to go on the left hand side um, because uh, I like to make sure that I actually have space here. Um, on my battle belt I have um, two like uh, grenade pouches. I've got one which has a thunder bee in it uh, and the other one had, will, will or will, if I have it, smoke in the other one there. Um, but I would like to actually get some sort of utility pouch to go on this side here which will then be handy for um, putting extra smoke in or something on those lines. <laughs> Moving around on the back of the vest then. Um, the back of the vest has uh, three main kind of pouches. The first one here it has uh, a Funder Bee in there. Now this one is um, sitting on the back here because when, uh, yeah again, in Milsim events and you've got like the CQB environment within Milsim, you actually have somebody sitting behind you and uh, you know, they could potentially, you know, just pull it out or for you and then chuck it in. So if you're basically there ready to breach to go in um, and you obviously you're ready to go, you can just say to the guy behind you, take that fun to be out and chuck that into the room for me. And then that means that you're ready to actually, as soon as they lob it in, as soon as you hear the bang, you can go straight through. So you're not having to take out the fun to be, throw it in, then obviously, you know, get yourself ready to go in. If you, if you know that the fun to be has gone into the room, then you're ready to go in. As soon as you hear that bang, you can just go straight in and then clear the room out from anybody that hasn't been hit by the fun to be. Uh, the main pouch, uh, at this moment in time, on the front here, this is like an added pouch onto it. Um, this actually isn't part of this main kind of bag here. Um, but this is where I am uh, got my spare um, eye probe. Uh, I currently am running kind of like a, a like a gobble kind of thing at this moment in time, which isn't too bad, but it folds up sometimes. It can be quite annoying. So I'll just keep a spare pair of iPro in there just in case I get really annoyed with the fogginess or that basically, you know, gets a bit annoying as well. Uh, in this main pouch on the back here, I've got a little snack. Um, I've got, um, this is like full of BBs, uh, so spare BBs. And then also I've got my toolkit as well. Uh, main items that go into the toolkit are just a pair of um, a pair of um, pliers, always handy. A pair of um, needle um, needle tip ones to get like you know little pins out of the weapon and stuff along those lines. Uh, I've also got in here uh, the average size Allen key for my MP5, taking my pin out to change my batteries and stuff. 
and then also I've got this little socket here which comes with the uh, you know a mixture of different like you know uh, flatheads and Phillips and um, so there's a whole variety of different uh, attachments for that there so that just sits in there hopefully I never have to use it if I ever have to use it I need to maybe use the Allen key just to change my battery out uh, in there I've also got my spare battery and also um, just Yes, in there apart from my spare battery. Uh, in the main compartment, this would be where I would store stuff like smoke, um, spare kind of canisters. So in here, I kind of already got pre-made up some uh, Thunder Bees. Uh, this one is a BB filled one. Um, literally what I do is I obviously tape up the top so the BBs don't fall out, but I also tape to the side the gas canister that goes into the Thunder Bee core. Um, so, you know, if I just, it's all there together in one little handy thing and that one's empty. Um, but uh, so that one is literally just for the sound and that one is obviously for the kind of BB effect. Um, I do also have a powder one, but that's obviously already preloaded in my, um, my, my uh, belt, um, which I'll, obviously you'll see on the next video or if I've got it ready in time, the one after that. And then the last pouch on here is a water, literally an amortization pouch, which I've used as a water bottle pouch. Um, that just keeps my water in there. The right hand side is clear. There is absolutely nothing on there and nothing will go on there for the pure fact that uh, that's the side that I keep my pistol on and my battle belt. So it needs to be kept clear. So when I actually pull my pistol out of its holster, then it's not getting jammed up on any pouches or anything on those lines on the right hand side. So like I said guys, obviously I haven't done a video in a while and I wanted to post up a video because I haven't posted in a while. Um, I, I really do apologise about that if anybody has been waiting for any of my videos. But um, I will try and um, get a schedule drawn up of putting videos up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try and stick to doing more kind of like, you know, airsoft, FIFA, football things and everything on those lines. They're the main things that I'm interested in. This is obviously what my YouTube channel is all about. It obviously started off as a FIFA channel, but obviously then it moved on to like football videos. And then obviously over a period of time, I did some football reviews, which really weren't that um, uh, popular apart from the ones where I went to watch uh, the Glens play. Uh, I'm going to be going to a couple of Glen, Glen, Glen games soon, uh, so I will put some more videos up. But um, yeah, there'll be an S off uh, video coming out soon. It's going to be one down at uh, Trigger Happy in the last place that I put up a video, but it's literally just going to be gameplay. Um, and uh, like I said, I'll probably just be running the round um, with just literally my weapon, uh, my pistol, and, and my, probably my battle belt, and that's probably about it, really. I'll probably put a magazine pouch on my battle belt, uh, so then I can just put my MP5 uh, max spare magazine on my battle belt rather than actually running around with anything else. It's no point running them around with a big massive vest and not being able to breathe, really, is it? But uh, that's uh, my vest. That's what I'm using at this moment in time. I'm quite happy with it. It's uh, I think it's loaded out really well. Um, I love the uh, single point sling. It's actually one of my favourite items actually on here, um, as well as also having uh, my other uh, favourite item is actually having that uh, spare Thunder Bee on my left hand shoulder. So thanks very much for watching the video. Please subscribe if you're new, and there'll be a new video coming soon.